Ye, formerly known as Kanye West, and Kim Kardashian were one of the most influential couples in pop culture over the last decade. Their breakup has been center stage for the past year, and Ye continues to make headlines, but for different reasons. Joining us now is NBC News correspondent Tremaine Lee to talk about the latest episode of his podcast, Into America. Tremaine, good morning. This episode was so compelling. Ye has been vocal about his struggles with mental health. And on your podcast, you spoke with two black mental health professionals. What are some of their takeaways around what we're seeing? publicly play out with him. Zinkley, I'll, I'll tell you what, many people have been following uh, the saga of Kanye West and Kim Kardashian very closely. They've been entertained by it. Uh, but the professionals I spoke with said um, there's something a little more troubling here, right? A cry for help. Um, Kanye West has been open and public about his bipolar disorder. Um, but as we know, in, in, ter in terms of men, right, sometimes we, we want to, um, you know, shy away from being so vulnerable and talking about our issues, um, especially in the black community. So this was a great opportunity to engage um, in a topic that, um, you know, is taboo for some folks, but this is center stage. And uh, these therapists say, you know, we really need to do a better job of, of addressing our loved ones um, for their sake, but also ours. You know, Kanye recently released a music video featuring an animated version of himself acting violently toward Kim Kardashian's current boyfriend, Pete Davidson. Obviously, this sparked a lot of concerns. Based on the conversations you've been having, are there other warning signs about behavior we're seeing that we should be concerned with and pay attention to? Joe, this is hard because we want to make it clear that um, just because, you know, people have um, issues with mental illness does not make them violent. Uh, but that uh, claymation video depicting what appears to be a decapitation of Pete Davidson is troubling. Uh, but more than just violence, um, if you have loved ones who are uh, despondent, uh, they're sleeping more, they're, they're on edge, or in the case of um, a bipolar disorder, um, manic highs and deep, deep lows, uh, that folks really need to make sure that um, when you see these warning signs, um, you, you engage with those who are suffering from them. But again, there is that tricky balance of at once um, holding people accountable for their actions when they're going through these episodes, but also offering them uh, some resources um, or at least some engagement, because again, a lot of folks aren't really open and vulnerable enough to express themselves when they're really going through some tough times. And Jermaine, I think about mental health specific to our community, the black community a lot. What can we learn from Ye when it comes to mental health awareness? Zinclair, I think we need to have these conversations, right? We can't, uh, you know, leave uh, mental health. It's so important as a taboo topic. Uh, but we have to first address um, our vulnerability when we have these conversations. But also, there is a lack of diversity, not unlike other institutions, but when it comes to mental health care providers, right? Um, the call has been made for more providers that reflect the community. So if someone um, looks like you, shares your culture, has a different kind of intimate understanding of what you may be going through from a cultural context, maybe that can help. Uh, but I think it starts off with this conversation. For far too long, we've known people in our communities um, who have undiagnosed mental health issues. And it's clear that their behavior um, is not only self-destructive, but also adds a burden to those who love them and in their communities. And so I think the time to have this conversation is now. And we hope that I uh, hope we did that with our, our latest episode. Yeah, Tremaine, it's a really nuanced topic. Thank you so much for breaking it down. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.